calendula oil is made by steeping dried calendula flowers in a carrier oil such as olive, coconut or jojoba oil for 4 to 6 weeks or longer. Whole dry flower heads or just the petals can be used but it is important that they are completely dry before they are placed in the oil to steep. While fresh flowers can technically be used to create calendula oil, this increases the risk for bacterial growth or for the oil to become rancid due to the moisture content in the fresh flowers. Therefore, I prefer to use dry flowers. While the flowers are steeping, the natural active resins within the calendula flowers are extracted and drawn into the oil, making it a concentrated oil full of the herb's healing properties. The finished calendula oil can either be used on its own or used as an ingredient to create other products like natural salves, ointments or creams. Depending on the type of oil you choose to infuse the calendula flowers with, this will likely dictate the uses for your finished calendula oil. For example, some oils are inedible while others may not be great for skin. Calendula is tolerated by most people, however, those who are allergic to plants of the daisy family or ragweed should be wary of this plant and possibly do a spot test to ensure they have no adverse reactions to calendula before using. Calendula oil can be used both internally or externally to support the immune system, heal infections and treat skin ailments. Calendula can help promote cell repair and growth and is a natural antiseptic, antibacterial, antifungal, anti-inflammatory, anti-tumor and lymphatic. Calendula can be helpful in treating ailments like rashes, sunburn, swelling, eczema, acne, stings, wounds, mild burns, scrapes, chickenpox, cold sores, razor burn from after shaving and even genital herpes sores. The traditional method for making calendula oil takes around 4-6 to six weeks to complete as it involves infusing the oil using natural sunlight. This is my preferred method as it best preserves the delicate constituents found in calendula and yields a better quality oil. To make this homemade calendula infused oil, fill a glass mason jar two thirds of the way full with dried calendula flowers. If using fresh calendula, allow the flowers to dry for 12 to 24 hours to remove as much of the moisture as possible, as too much moisture will cause the oil to go rancid before adding to the jar. Pour olive oil over the flowers, making sure to completely cover them by at least one inch so they will have room to expand. Stir well and cap the jar tightly. Place the jar on a warm, sunny windowsill for 4-6 to six weeks or until the oil takes on the colour of the flowers, developing a golden yellow colour. Shake the jar once or more daily. After 4-6 to six weeks, strain out the flowers using some cheesecloth or a nut milk bag and you can compost the flowers. Then, pour the infused oil into glass bottles or jars and store in a cool, dark place. And that's how you make a healing calendula oil from scratch at home using only two ingredients. I hope you enjoyed this video tutorial. Let me know if you try this recipe yourself and what you use the calendula oil for. I'd love to know. I hope you have a wonderful day and I'll see you soon again.